alliances may attempt to throw litter onto the opposing <laughs> side of the field until there are three seconds left in the <laughs> Litter not in scoring. We just learned the group a game Recycle Rush, so we need to go through the scoring matrix to kind of understand how everything works. Um, Andrew, can you uh, tell me a little bit about auto, exactly what we need to do? All right, go back to the rules. Uh, so we have three ways to do this. Robot set, tote set, container set, and a stack tote, four ways. Yeah. Stack tote set. Big points of interest, no defense. So. You can't send your robot to the other side. As a matter of fact, there's penalties for interaction if you're not careful. The horizontal yeah, plane going over that step. step. Like you can interact to help stack, stack, stack but, you can't. Well, but anything more than that, it gets pretty crazy. The second thing of note here is that exactly what you just said, um, that those co-op co points disappear in a limbs. So we would say a limbs, cross out. <laughs> um, and uh, another thing of notice, uh, you cannot, no throwing over the bar, uh, throwing no pieces. Robots throwing pieces. Robots. So, in, in essence, you can't disrupt another team's stacks by, like, say, for instance, you can't build mm -hmm. a stack launcher right. and blast that sucker across to hit another stack and take it out. Are there any like penalties? Penalties. That's the first part. Well, let's say, is there any penalties otherwise? A lot of the penalties. Like, can, you hold, can you only hold one one toe at a time or any of that kind of stuff? Is there possession rules? Not that I so saw. So you can pick. You can pick up. I did four. not see. Matter of fact, I think you can actually take them in and just. Right. The, the only problem is going higher than six foot six. Yeah. Yes. Right. There, there is. And that's another very good point. There's a six foot six. Uh, inch uh, height limit. Twelve, 12 plus your twenty-four. You're only getting four extra points. Yes, but if you, you know, if you score the letter, it's only one extra point. So yeah. You can only get maximum of thirty-seven. Points My thing is stack. level of effort between the three stack and the six stack. Do you want to waste put all your eggs in one basket? Then you have to not go over the six stack while you're stacking it. Exactly. Or do you want to spread it out? Yeah. I still see. I still see more bang for your buck. Oh, well, oh, more bang for your buck. We're saying. We're saying. We're just saying. What, just saying what, what happens, happens when that. you max that? Yeah. yeah. Where, yeah. where do you go after that? All right. So, understanding that already, we already determined that the auto score is important. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, the auto score was twenty points, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So, so that's for that's for a stack of three. That's, I'm going to treat that as important because of the design of your robot fits right around that, right. okay? A lot of bang for your buck out of that co-op, all right? And we're going to say for our purposes, the three stack for, for an alliance, the rest of the time focusing, what do we want? We want that 32 point stack of four totes, 36. excuse me, yep, 36 point stack of four totes plus the recycle. Oh, you want four totes on that? No, no, it's not 36. Because that's you, you But primary is going to be a, a three tote stack of tote. Uh, to at minimum, we'll be able to do a stack of three. Yeah, right. And be able to lift it over. And be able to lift it up to the step to the six inch height. Yeah. Three step, two step, two step. Because if we can do the step, we can do the floor. Right. Yep. Definition of transport configuration is a configuration of a robot which does not exceed two feet four inches wide, three feet six inches deep, and six feet six inches tall, and is used in transferring robots among competition locations. Body. It's used pit, practice field, inspection, of the arena. So that's just it's starting to be big. No, transport or, is when you're moving it. So once you put on the field, it can be bigger. Right? That's a good point. When transferring robots among competition locations. They just said they were done. Huh.
practice field inspection team spit. That's a good are point. They saying, are they saying transforming robots? Is that what I'm hearing? So we know we're going to make a robot that's going to stack and uh, acquire all of the uh, the totes. So we came up with four different designs for end effectors that will integrate into our robot. So the first one is uh, four rollers that are on a gripper, uh, a four bar gripper that'll, that'll keep the, the rollers parallel. Um, the next one is just a squeezy gripper. That's, so it's not gonna be on a four bar, it's actually gonna the hinge in and out. Um, the final one is, is we have two different ideas. One is just a flat plate that will go inside the handles and be um, on some hinges so it can pop in and out. The second one is kind of like a rake. Similar idea, it's gonna catch the lip, but it's only it's gonna be able to do it from the wide side. This one would work from the narrow side. Because uh, if you've looked at the bottom of the, the tote, there's a bunch of reinforcement ribs in that lip. So it's the, the rake will give you actually more opportunities to grab it on the sides. So we're gonna get to work on these prototypes and we'll show them to you shortly.